is, yeah, you just DQ yourself. Yeah, you might as well just go up there. Looks like they're gonna be going to Delfino here. <laughs> yeah, Battlefield. I know Dom loves this stage. He loves platforms a lot. Yeah, and he likes to carry people around the world here, but this isn't a horrible stage for Cloud either. No, no, this is like a really good stage. Yeah. Cloud doesn't really have many bad stages, except FD is kind of hard to land on, I guess. So let's see. Uh, what these two want to be looking for is, I mean, especially off stage. When you are off stage as Fox against a Cloud, it is terrifying. Yes. There's so especially, many things you can do. You know, uh, Jimmy, I've said this earlier, and it's one of the distinguishing things. He likes to go for down air on ledge. Yeah. He likes to go for down air on ledge, and then he likes to go for down air on your getup. And he doesn't do that every time, but right. Fox, that's pretty scary. Uh, scary move. So, yeah, especially Fox's recoveries are so yeah. linear. Catching an illusion with uh, down air, or even catching a Firefox with down air, or even either of those moves with a nair. Ooh, Ooh, clips him out of the French fries. Maybe it's not so easy. And is he gonna get back? No. No, that is gonna be a that's stock a, here. That's quick. a by Felicia situation. If I've ever seen one, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, nice shine. Really good shine to get himself out of that. Applying lots more pressure here on the ground. Oh, oh, I thought we were gonna see gross things. <laughs> Not But quite. he threw out the hitbox, so no forward air footstool. Yeah, Dom honestly doesn't need it. Uh, he's a rather conservative box player. Yeah. In, yeah, in um, the best way possible. Honestly. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not an insult by any means. He's a very aware Fox player, I would say. Very, very patient. People, A lot of the time, people confuse patient with campy. Yeah. And that's and then, not the situation whatsoever. Yeah, because campy, you're not really asserting pressure. And if you're patient, you can assert pressure. Yeah, you can, if you are, you can be an aggressor in the game and still be patient. Yeah. Um, I mean, Diddy Kong is a great example of that, having banana and the pressure. Oh. Banana, oh, doesn't snap. Ledge. You mizzled. That's all I have to say. That's rough. Oh, up air. Up air. Ooh, Ooh. down air. Meeting him up there. And that's actually terrifying. We saw Ned versus Larry Lur. Ned caught Larry Lur with a down air in the air and almost took the stock from yeah. that with a sour spot down air. Gross. So maybe that's Jimmy oh. there taking a page out of the Grandmaster Ned's book. But, Dom, you know, we're living still. Or, I mean, Jimmy's still living. 140% here. And a cloud with 140% and limit is yeah. something to behold here. Doesn't get that two frame, but that's a very good option, especially this percent. Dom not really trying to contest. And I mean, like we said, patient. Yeah, he not doesn't really have too to. aggressive off stage, you he know. He doesn't have to, you know. I mean, he could die to a down B here. That's certainly a threat. So right. I'd be soon. Woo! No, he's living. We live in, though. We, we live in, we live in. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh! No invincibility. That, uh... Caught the big metal shoelace there. That came back to haunt him. And honestly, that's unfortunate because that ledge trump was very, uh... Well-timed. It's part yeah. of ledge trump with Cloud, actually, I think. But, um... He just... He just jumped out of it. That's what happened. I'm talking about stage bans here. We're gonna get into game two right after they decide. Jimmy hitting the thinking man pose, thinking, what are my tools here to take out Dom? What are my tools? And honestly, Jimmy's got a lot of tools, because he's got four tools as soon as he's glowing blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. And speaking of that fourth tool, um, that up B, that's something that you have to worry about. If you're yeah, a limit climb hazard is a character goofy. that puts pressure on with jumping and, um, you know, like down air, we saw on Larry, down air to shield is not okay when... You're gonna die to up the limit. Dom is putting on some. Oh, and just as we were saying, he's a conservative cloud. He doesn't need it. He goes I mean, for it. I almost thought he was dead with how low he dropped. But right. That was really, really well done. And honestly, I think as far as it doesn't matter how conservative, if you see that option, <laughs> you take it. You're gonna go for it. To be so real it. here. It's like a lot of people saying finishing touch is you know not a great move, but we see Ned use it fantastically. Yeah. If when used properly, everything can be a good move. Take that with a grain of salt, please. <laughs> oh, I already got, I have plenty of salt. <laughs> I'm talking to the viewer. <laughs> they have plenty of salt, too. Oh, nice back here. 
That is going to lock up the stock here a mere 50%. Yeah, that's a really good option against Cloud, because Cloud loves to jump or uh, just get up, you know? Right. And in general, that's a pretty safe option on ledge with Fox. You don't have to commit super hard. And unless you miss space and get get up attacks, that's probably the worst. I'm not sure. I, I, the up smash was interesting there. I think it was. I think he was play. reading side B, okay. which is important to do. But I think it's very, very important for everybody to remember that Fox's side B in this game is not as punishable as it was in Brawl, and that it's is, not as punishable as you cool. think. And it's not like, true. like if they are going to use side B, they know that it's a vulnerable move. They know you want to hit them, so they're going to do everything yeah. they can to stall it or convince you otherwise of the timing. Nice up smash there. Calling out that roll with a blade beam is going to be taking the stock here. Grounded blade beam, obviously doing much more work than aerial blade beam. Aerial. You'd think after like the whole the whole like gym thing came out, Jim Jimmy would change his tag, like his actual yeah. like above name. Above Man, he's such tag. a gym. I know, right? <laughs> he's literally just branding himself as a gym, when in reality he's not. He's a lovely person. Gym. Yeah, he could bring this back. He's got the blue stuff. He's got, he's he's got, got the, the juice. Stuff. He's juice got stuff. the juice. Shout out to Chance. Shout out to Juicy Drop Pop. Anyways. Yeah, unsafe up smash. Pretty low risk, though. Man, he's got him on the ledger. This is not where you want to be as Cloud. This is it. Gross, Tex. gross, 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 gross. Oh, tax. Super gross. That was very well done. Doesn't go for the down air, he says. Look at this. What, does that spell something out, or is it just a bunch of slashes? Uh, is it a symbol? I have no clue. I have, I have no clue. Shout out to my awareness. <laughs> <laughs> some sort of some, some sort right. of kanji character, as Sage said. Yeah, you've seen me. You've seen how white I am. I'm, I'm not cultured. <laughs> I wish I could tell you. Right, this is going to be game three here. Yes. Fox Cloud are the characters that stayed going to Smashville. Smuckers. Smuckers. Why Why does JJ call it Smuckers? I actually started Smuckers. You did? Why do you call it Smuckers? I was just being silly. We were like Starterville, Smasherville. And then I, Smuckers just came into my head. All right. Smuckersville was what it was. So. Sometimes you don't need a story. Sometimes the story yeah, is, you know. We get really confused Mewtwo King at Shine in doubles. We asked him if he wanted to go to Smuckers, and he was very <laughs> confused. Anyways, this is game three here, though. Loser is out. Moving on into winners. Uh, oh, losers sorry, is losers. outie. Yeah, yeah. Send, it, send back to the salt mines, honestly. I mean, like, the lowest level of the salt mines, which is, like, out. <laughs> you know oh, oh no. man. Oh, man. Hey, he just wanted to, like, test it out to make sure Ooh. it works. That boy had one of those dinosaur grabby claws thing. He was <laughs> reaching. He was reaching. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Good. Yeah, Bowser Jr. grab. Oh. Oh, we living though. And that's a risky uh, up air, but it worked very well. The back air. That's a trade you like to see. That is a, a trade. That's for a GameStop trade. Yep. Oh, no. And that's a. Oh, <laughs> you get a lot more out of it than. I mean, they get a lot more out of it <laughs> that's than you That's a. Do. Uh, <laughs> you come back, you get your game back. You're like, I want my game back. <laughs> you paid $70 for it. I'll give you $350. I'll give you $5.99. That's what Jimmy said. <laughs> Jimmy's steady on these $5.99s here, but just as we were saying, that stock's get evened up here and percents are even more close. Watch out for Blade Beam. That's a very good option against, uh, you know, to get Fox to have to use his double jump or to get him low. Right. Yeah, it's got to spell something. <laughs> it's not just meaningless french fries. It's got to be something. It might spell french fries. Oh, my goodness. How great would that be? <laughs> That would be amazing. Percents are so close here. These two are just back and forth. Definition yeah, of it. And I wonder if Jimmy has like got a B on, on his mind. Because Don is approaching with a lot of, you know, on shield things. Yeah, you, I, but yeah as I was about to say, normally you do it a lot of times out of shield. Um, so, ooh. 50, 52% isn't the percent when you want to be looking for it, though. Oh, that's your jump. That's your jump, and that's... Oh, oh wow. That was actually yeah, really Yeah, he's definitely good. not a gym. That was really... That was, that was, that was high-level thinking right there. 
go high like that and catch him on that hitbox. Uh oh. Uh. What? Salmons. Just decides to drop his shield at the absolute yeah. worst possible time. Jimmy, as he descends from his chair, ascends from his chair. He said, I, I got, got baited. He's, he's doing the fit. All right, so he's doing the fishing <laughs> thing. So I went up to Sea Bass earlier and I just. I just pretended like I was like throwing out a fishing line, reeling it in. He's like, what are you doing? And I was like, mm. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm catching, I'm catching fish. I'm catching sea bass. 